Good day everyone, welcome to the Oz Mining YouTube channel. I'm just gonna do a very quick video from back to front on how to wire up a Shelly OnePlus smart switch to power on either a mining rig, a PC or computer. And I've been doing a few of these over the re recent weeks and I thought after I've you know now got a bit of practice in, I can do it pretty seamlessly. Let's just do a, a quick run through with you all and I'll show you how to do it from start to finish. So here's the switch. This is a Shelly One Plus. I think this superseded the original Shelly's. Not much different. I think inside's maybe the same, but they've just slightly all the thing that you pull out to switch over if it's 12 volts or two or 120 or 240 volts. They've just got the options here to, to wire it directly. So Without further ado, I will get into it. If I just show you what I've got here is I've obviously got the uh, switch itself. I've then got a, a wiring diagram here of how um, six or eight pin power connectors are wired because we are going to be using them to power the 12 volt side of the Shelly smart switch here. So, and I am going to be then modifying, you've got two real options. You can either use a six to eight pin power connector and modify that or you can use a six pin to SATA power connector. Now I've recently discovered that whilst I thought these were completely useless connectors, uh, these are actually quite good uh, to use to modify to power up the Shelly smart switches. As long as you don't need too much length in the cable, there's quite, a, you know, it's, it's only about sort of six to eight inches here, whereas these six to uh, eight pin connectors or more like sort of 12 to 15 inches. So if you're not too concerned about the length you need um, getting from, you know, and I'm using a breakout board to power my Shelly smart switch to the Shelly. And then obviously the Shelly will have a, so I'll show you the next piece of the puzzle here is one of these switches to power on your motherboard. So uh, on, actually I've already removed the switch end. So this is the original switch end, which you'll probably recognize. You can switch on your uh, motherboard, clicking that on or off. Uh, I've already actually cut off the end connectors here. And this is just the normal end here that goes into the motherboard. So yeah, let, let me just show you how it all works uh, very quickly. Again, I have already cheated and I've done one little piece of it, but I'll, sh I'll show you how that works. So so the first thing we'll do, and I'm gonna use uh, one of these, what I thought was previously redundant, SATA uh, power connectors. And the end you wanna keep is the six pin end and we're gonna be getting rid of the um, SATA connector end. Really important, and I'll put this down in the video to get one of these wiring diagrams. Again, if you're unsure at all about doing anything like wiring, seek an expert, um, get some guidance, um, don't do it yourself. So basically, if you look at the way this diagram is, you'll see the top little connector bit there. So you wanna orientate it around this way so you got, you got it the right way. And the two that you want is this black, which is the ground, and the um, the yellow which is the 12 volt that's the two you need so that is the two on this side so if you see here that's the top black there Hang on, actually sorry so you, you want to orientate it around uh, this way there you go and you can see sorry you want to orientate it around that way and you can actually see in there if you get really close let me see if I can get it for you if you get it really close um, these are actually like different shapes inside there. So you can see there's a square at the bottom there and there's a slightly uh, like, it's kind of a, like locked off um, edges in there. So you wanna get the uh, black and the yellow and you wanna follow that up to the Santa connection end. And those are the two ends that you wanna clip off. There you go. So we're just doing this live. We're not gonna edit it. Uh, you, you can see my mistakes and you can learn from them. And you won't make them yourself then. So, so yeah, so there's our two uh, why as we want. So again, we've orientated around this way. We've got the top black and the bottom yellow. So we know that's our ground and 12 volts. All the rest, uh, I just yank them out then. So just a little bit of force needed. Just grab it on the end and yank it out. Yank the other one out. There's, so there's three more you've got to yank out. So there's only five actually connected from the six pins. And then the final one's the middle bottom one. And there you go, pull that out. There we go. So that's they've all come out and we can just throw that in the bin. There we go. So what you're left with then is simply the wires that you need. So again, orientate around that way. Uh, we've got the top yellow 
and we've got the sorry we've got the top black and the bottom yellow perfect so all we do now is we'll just strip these ends away so basically that end is going to go into our server power supply breakout board and this end will go into our Shelly uh, OnePlus device. So let's get my wire strippers and I'll try and do this without looking stupid. You just want to take around, I'd say it's probably about half a centimeter. You don't want to take too much because you, you don't want the um, wire to be longer than the uh, connector and come out the end. So there you go. So I've just taken it off probably about half a centimeter. So let's give it three or four twists so that go into the connector nicely and I'll show you the connectors in a minute. Let's do the other one. Uh, maybe about half a centimeter, pinch it around, spin it around. There we go, it's done. There you go, easy peasy. So that's that done. There we go. So that's basically, we've got a six pin end. We've got the two bare wires now, which is gonna go into our Shelly device. So now what we need is some of these, I'll just show you the box here these terminal connectors and the ones we want are the white ones the smallest ones you can pick these up on ebay and i'll put a link in the video down below for probably uh, less than us ten dollars around aussie fifteen dollars so pretty cheap and you get a massive pack and i even got a free pair of pliers so yeah just look around on ebay or wherever you're searching and just see if you can get these little bonuses like the crimping pliers as well so what you want to do is give them twists get the end nice and pointy then you want to basically get the connector, uh, throw it on there, there you go, sweet, so that's on there, you then want to get your crimping pliers, squeeze it on and just nice and tight all the way, I actually often like to do, twist it then give it a second twist, and then just make sure it's on nice and tight, beautiful, so that's done, black one's done, let's quickly do the yellow one now again, give it a final twist, Get the yellow. Give it a second twist now. Perfect. There we go. Job done. So there we go. We've got the end to go into our server breakout board and then the two ends go into the Shelly so I'll show you right here so and then basically as easy as this is in the Shelly what you want to do is and let me just zoom that in a little bit so you can see it nice you want to get in the 12 volt goes the yellow so let's just put that in there 12 gets the yellow zoom in around a little bit there you go so the yellow the yellow gets the 12 volt like that and let's just screw it in there hold it in beautiful you get nice and tight you don't want to over tighten it you can crush these if you go too much so uh, there you go and then let's go the black the black then goes into the it says it says the l like live but it's it's actually um the ground that you're looking for there so the black goes into the ground beautiful and that is nice and tight so there you go simple as that yellow into a 12 volt as per the diagram look across there and the black into the ground and then you've still got that in connected which again remember look at look at the diagram go around this way um, top is the ground and bottom is the 12 volt so that's that side of it done and even as far as if we want then we just plug that into the server breakout board there you go, so that's how, exactly how it's going to work. And then if you're going to be powering on a PC computer, uh, a mining rig, you know, presumably what I'm showing you this for is you want to have the uh, server power supply powered separately from your actual mining rig. Because once you shut the mining rig down, that will actually shut off the power to the, um, the, the, the server power supply. So you basically want to connect this breakout board to your server power supply and the server power supply needs to be connected to an independent you know, outlet where that will be running you know, 24 seven. And if you've actually got this connected, when the Shelly's off, this literally draws no power. It won't be drawing any power whatsoever. May, maybe like a volt or something, but, but literally nothing. It will only draw on a little bit of power then when it wants to switch is switch on or switch switch off. So literally 
it's not going to be using a, a lot of power, if, if anything at all. Uh, you know, obviously in mining, we need to be very conscious of the watts that we're, we're drawing. But this, this will not draw anything hardly at all. So then the other side of the equation is, and look, again, I have cheated. This is just a dollars and cents button to power on your, your motherboard. And I've already sort of uh, cut off the switch end here. And literally exactly what I did on the other end, you just need to uh, cut the wire off. You just need to trim the wire. Now, what you do need to do with these, and I've, I've, it's quite a good tip, is I then do about a centimetre and a half. And I, because this wire is super thin here, do a centimetre and a half, fold it over, then put it up into your, your crimps, and then it works really nice. It stays in really tight. So let's just wrap this up then. Is It actually doesn't matter which way around you go with the switch when you're operating the switch, but I just generally always put red into the one and black into the zero. That's just something I generally follow. Um, but again, for the switching mechanism that you're going to be using, which is just a um, like an on off switch kind of you know spring switch, uh, it actually doesn't matter which way around you do this because it's just going to be essentially connecting the switch when you fire on the Shelly via, via your you know, phone app, for example, or, or if you've got it doing, and like I am, on a scheduled device. So there we go, that is done. And that is fully wired up to rock and roll and, and connect to your mind. So there we go, let's zoom out a fraction if we can. Cool, so we've got two ready to go now. Whoa, 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 sorry, little, uh, not the thing there. So let, let's see how this works. So you've got server power supply, breakout board, you then got your ground black and your 12 volt uh, yellow coming into the Shelly, which goes into 12 volt and ground. Easy as that. And then you take out your switch side. Again, there's no actual like high volts going through this side. It's separated. This is just creating, this is just triggering a switch inside the Shelly One Plus to say complete the circuit and then create that switching mechanism that will then remotely go into your motherboard. That then goes into your normal motherboard um, uh, connections and that will switch on your mining rig. Hope that helps. I just want to do really simple, straight through, end to end, no editing, how to wire these up to power on your uh, mining rigs and I've got two here ready to go and I'm now going to connect these up to two more my mining rigs and get this uh, automation uh, up and running on the mining farm so yeah so thanks for watching uh, please like please subscribe uh, let me know uh, any comments or questions you have down below and yeah happy mining have a great day thanks for watching take care